Hi, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. We've got a battle on Westfield with no sun and no life, and he's in the BZ58. Now, this is uh, part of the new Tech Tree Chinese heavy tanks um, based on the um, rocket principles. Um, it's the, the premium tier 8 uh, BZ176, and this is a starts at um, the Tech Tree starts at tier 7, I think. Uh, so here we go, BZ58. You can see there's a few of them in the game uh, as people are starting to build their um, tech tree. Now, part of uh, the differences, uh, this one's only got three rocket charges. So the um, compared to the premium one, it's got four. So you've got less opportunities to use it. So you Got to use it a bit more wisely. So typically, use it to get into position quickly. And that's what Nasana has done. Yeah, so far, the gun is not working for him. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be a constant issue, but so he's firing at the AT-8 here. I think he's probably rushing it a little bit, um, trying not to sit in front of the gun. But the AT-8 is now willingly giving him his side. But anyway, let's have a quick look at the gun. Um, just not too familiar exactly with the options but what have we got the um, 85 millimeter gun 220 average damage standard pen 165 and his the APCR gives him 220 pen and a slightly higher shell velocity of 990 nothing fantastic there but anyway let's see how he uses both the tank and its armor it's taken a little bit of damage from the AT8 there and why there are two 88s, I'm not really sure, but uh, I'm they might be able to finish him off with this shot. No, it leaves him on 61 hit points, so a bit of a low roll there. And can he get him this time? You can see all the holes. No, unfortunately, that again, from an aiming perspective, it didn't land in the right spot. So I'm not sure if that's the gun or just the speed. You can see the aiming circle relatively slow. Again, that not hitting the target, but it's got a better target here now with the Tiger 1. Giving him a bit too much of side. The Tiger 1, I'm sure he's not obviously side scraping, he's just moving into position to shoot. And then luckily it backs off so that the incoming shot doesn't penetrate. But now there's the AT8, can he get rid of him? Aim, aim, aim. Yes, gets this kill. Now he's managed to bounce a shot from the Tiger. So that's good. And here's an enemy BZ58 coming around the corner. Is he going to progress? No, he backs off. And there's the Tiger 1 again in a pretty poor position. So he absorbs that shot on his tracks. The enemy BZ58 goes down. And he might get another shot on the Tiger 1. Yes, he does. So DPM looks reasonable again. Nothing fantastic, but um, certainly enough for the gameplay on this particular map. Yeah, it's got the opportunity here to put more effort into the AT-8 but decides to not push too hard. The Tiger P can come over the top and the Tiger 1 obviously still sort of looking for opportunities. There's the AT-8 there, you can just go on the um, commander's hatch there. And unfortunately that bounces and he does take some damage but still got plenty of hit points. Nothing to worry him. He's already got nearly 2,000 hit points of damage in tier 7, that's pretty good. Withdraw from that position. Tiger 1 lands a shot on him. Now everyone seems to be firing APCR at him. That's, well, that's the game these days. So he backs off and starting to look for more opportunities here in different places. So changing the angle, so to speak. Okay, now it looks like I can get a shot on that Tiger P that's pulling back. Takes him down to one shot all. And again, takes a hit from the Tiger 1, but manages to land a sh killing shot on the Tiger P, and he can probably do the same thing to the Tiger 1 now. One more shot. Yep, and there he goes. So, three kills now to Nosana. 
and possibly another one on the 88. No, <laughs> it bounces for some reason. We expect to standard rounds, he's used all these premium rounds. He just doesn't, doesn't need to get a shot, shot and he does there. Which gets the kill shot, that's four kills now. But uh, VZ44-1 is again, he's just going to change angle to try and get more of a side shot. That's more perhaps to stay out of the way of the gun, but now we can uh, yeah, earn some more damage there. VZ-44 still facing off against another VZ-44 I'm not giving any attention to Nosana but now a Type 58 down in the village somewhere you can see him last spotted right at the edge of the village being opportunistic but Nosana's now only got 231 hit points left so he can't afford to take a whole lot more damage but he punishes the VZ-44-1 so doing a bit of farming here getting up to 3k and just again rushing that shot ricochets target disappears and gets sent back to the garage and now he's got another opportunity of another BZ58 can he get an angle on him? sort of, yeah right in the side of the turret so that worked out and luckily dodged the incoming arty round so it takes him up to 3k damage and he uses his last rocket shot to fly through the village and try and get to where that Type 58 was last seen and there we go there's the Type 58 snaps a shot but uh, doesn't connect that was just visible partly through a building or next to a building and he keeps his auto lock on to get a shot in and go for the ram bounces the shot he actually gets a reasonable ram out of that and the Type 58 goes down and he picks up assisted damage there and now, fairly close battle and their cap is getting overrun. And he dodges another RD shot coming in. They need to get a reset on this one, it's about to go down as a loss. Oh, no, Santa's got a shot on this T3485M. Gets the kill, gets the reset. <laughs> that was pretty close. And now he's they're mopping up. IKB goes down and now it's just the RD. So he probably won't make it back to where the RD is. He's in a heavy tank, let's have a quick look. Over around his speed is about 30 k's and he's going slightly downhill too so not a high speed tank but again this is the rocket tanks there off rocket speed is nothing to ride home about there was the arty round that came in where does that suggest he was actually oh, i reckon he's yeah someone's indicating h1 somewhere around there h1 j1 maybe on the side of the hill even up as high as g1 Hardys can go in some tricksy places trying to hide. The obvious spot is down at uh, the border between JK1 there, just in that little hollow behind the hill. But uh, the direction of that shot didn't come from there, so uh, tanks are moving in. They've still got six minutes to go, or nearly seven minutes. Okay, just under seven minutes. So this will be all over. It's no sign of, funnily enough, for the the slow heavy tank is actually in the lead here, so let's see what happens. Okay, already just stops here. He's basically looking for someone to spot and get a shot running. He's not set up obviously for vision. Being heavy tank, that's not necessarily your first option. T78 goes in, gets on cap. All right, well, it's a bit of a Naf move there when there's only an arty to kill. It's not like the M44 can go a long distance and we know he's on the side of the map so it's just a matter of time. Getting cap points while the clock is around there he is right up there at F1 so the VZ44 gets him and that's the end of the game. Alright well I've been informed by Nosana that it was actually the stock gun he was using so pretty good performance from that um, so just under 4k oh sorry 3.7k of uh, damage six kills and he blocked 1020 so the armor stood up reasonably well uh, even though people were firing APCR but uh, the outcomes here is earned the top gun for the six kills uh, the damage has given him the high caliber award and he's also in the confederate award for damaging 
tanks that were then killed by his team, and also the steel wall for the blocking. And altogether, it's given him the ace tank bad. So, okay, this is a new tank, so let's see what the scores were for that. Oh, okay, well, no mistake there. Let's just sort that on experience. Finished well on top of experience and well above your typical ace tanker level, 1667. And the next best tank was the VZ44-1, getting 1135, which is also an outstanding result. Uh, those are the only two tanks getting over 2k, but a 2k in a tier 7 game is also pretty good, so not too bad. BZ58 doing well, and the T3485M that tried to cap it out and nearly succeeded, I've got to say. Only a few seconds away from pulling that off, so they've been unfortunate. And uh, those two really sort of carry the game for their own team, but not quite to the end. Alright, so let's go back to the economics here. He fired 32 shots, which is quite a lot for a heavy tank. 28 hits, 19 penetrations, so pretty good shooting. Uh, not running any reserves or any other bonuses. So damage, repair, 6k ammunition so he did use all these premium rounds but shot quite a few standard rounds too but 83k there and 6k in his consumables standard consumables but he used them all um, and that meant a loss of 32k so it's a bit unfortunate but uh, he did get a good result out of it so um, i think you'd be looking pretty happy with that all right another great game there from no sun and no life thanks very much for the content hopefully you learnt something from the video or you appreciated it and if you did please give it a thumbs up it does sort of trick the algorithm and make it think that uh, it should be put in front of more people which is what i'm trying to achieve if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please consider doing that as well we'll have more great content to follow thanks very much for watching